<coughs> Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. I'm going to move that the Ontario Fire Marshal investigate whether the St. Clay right of way is safe for emergency vehicles. Um, it, it says here, and this is black and white, I know it's been said, but um, the TTC right of way as constructed on St. Clair Avenue West is not usable by Toronto Fire Services for emergency response. That's it. What's really confusing about this whole situation is that Chief Stewart, who I have the utmost respect for, went on, went on TV and said it's not safe. Two days later, did a 180 and said, all of a sudden it's safe. My question is, and the constituents I call me, who got to the chief? That's my question. I don't know, but I feel sorry for him being put in front of the firing squad today and getting drilled when he met with the city manager and someone from the mayor's office. Since when does the city manager and Stuart Green from the mayor's office know about the fire department, emergency vehicles, and what's safe and what's not? I just, I don't, I don't see why the mayor's office or the city manager's office would be involved with meeting with Chief Stewart when it has nothing to do. They have, maybe I missed something. Maybe they were firefighters at one time. I don't think they were. What do they know about safety, about emergency vehicles on the St. Clair right of way? And everyone attacked um, Councillor Palacio. Oh, this is all politically motivated. This came out in April, April 9th. If you wanted to have this to be make political hay out of this, he would have done this two months ago. He wouldn't have waited. 10 weeks later to address the concern. So what I, I just I just want to know that answer. Point of personal privilege. Councillor Nunziata, yes, state I your add, point of I ask privilege. Madam Speaker, if you can please ask the councillors around. They may not like what Councillor Ford is saying, but please show the courtesy and listen. Well, I wasn't aware that something was amiss, but thank you. Well, Councillor that, Ford, you have right. the floor. I, I appreciate that. I don't mind getting heckled. I, I don't have too much energy today to fight back, so you guys can take Member, all the shots you want. Just a moment to uh, members I, of council, please remove all the signage. The what? <laughs> so. Oh, wait, it, wait a moment, councillor, until that's done, and then we can continue. So, I, I, the, the reason I'm calling uh, in the Ontario Fire Marshal, because <clears throat> I'm, whether it passes or not today, I'm going to approach him myself and I'm going to ask him to investigate and show him the tapes of what happened today. And again, um, I want to get to the bottom of this because there's more to it than meets the eye and it doesn't smell good today. It really doesn't. And I, and I don't like what I'm seeing. I don't like what I'm hearing. And I'm not making any accusations. I'm just saying something doesn't smell right here. And um, I'm not going to see people sit here and attack uh, Councillor Platzi over something that's legitimate. If it wasn't written on black and white, I'd say, okay, this is black and white. This is, this is, this is a copy that was back in April, of, April 10, 2008. And it, it was wrong. Oh, it was wrong. Well, anyways, you know what? Let's let the Ontario Fire Marshal investigate this whole thing because I don't like what I'm hearing and um, it's not safe. All right, thank, thank you, you. Councillor Ford. Um, Councillor Ford, it's my understanding it's not within the purview of the F Ontario Fire Marshal to do that kind of investigation. Fire. How would you know? So I will be ruling your motion out of order. That's fine, I'll challenge the chair. Go ahead. I did that. The, the speaker's ruling has I'm gonna been do it. challenged. I just want it all on the record here. I just will want it on the record. Will the ruling of the speaker be upheld? Councillor, if it was possible, I would allow the motion. I'm being advised it is not possible. Okay. Councillor Carroll, Councillor Jambroni, Councillor Minin Wong, please. Upholding the chair. The chair is upheld, the vote is 21 to 12. 